Umindri Rangba Ukonat ke Sangma Ola Pentip Baka Jela Kampat Biang Ia ki IES Officer Hapo Aga Jela Haka Baminta Ki Dantang Sao Puwengut Ki IES Officer Baka Ntop Arpo Laingut Ki Bapas Lemba Ka UPSC Bat Kat Prangut Ki Basu Syatong Pinkiu Kerdan Lani Nominated Naki Nyo Punyo Ngut Balabu Bandan Ula Ong Baka Suarkar Jela Kam Yahab Satya Ya Ka Jengtemu Jong Ka Suarkar Pedeng Naka Benta Ban Pinkela Lani Amend Ya ka IS Cardio Rules Shihajar Kendai Spa San Posao Hakabau Laya Thu Baka Suarkar Jela Kala Thoru RCN Halo Organi Syaka Suarkar Pedeng Haba Jubab Ya Ka Jingali Bala Wanra Da Ka MLA Na East Shalong Ka Dr. M. Amperin Lingdo Hapo Ka Ying Dor Bar Benta Ka Sengi U Menteri Rangba Ula Ong Baka Jela Ka Duna Bahaya Ki Officer IAS Bad Kat Kum Ka Teh Ka Jingpin Kela Ka Long Bek Ban Pha Ya Ki IAS Jong Ki Jela Sya Ki Wei Ki Jaka Kat Kum Ka Jingdan Kam Jong Ka Suarkar Pedeng Haba Jubab Syu Syu Ya Ki Jingkeli Halor Ka Nika Jingdan Kam Ban Don No Ya Ka Meghlaya Kardia Ulai Thu Baka Suarkar Nadu Arpo Arterik Udum Pang Arhajar Kat Kendai Kalah Thu Syu Menteri Rangba Duk Ka Ri Ban Kerpa Na Ka Benta Ban Ai No La Ka Jong Ka Benta Ka Meghlaya Bat haduk mentah ke suarkar kadang buat din ya kini kakam. Haba jubab ya ke jenggeli benrap na UML ke maulai ukan rat ulai tu. Baha ki por baladep haswa ban pak ya ki IAS officer syaki wegi jaka ke don syua ke jeng penbej ha pedeng ke suarkar jela pat ke suarkar pedeng. Henry da ke jeng temu ban pin kelak ke suarkar jela ke hap ban pintip ha po ke por balabu lada kam ya hap ya karai ke suarkar pedeng kan pin kenri akam ya ki IAS officer. Mr. Speaker, sir, reply to star question 77A. Yes, sir. B. Sir, it is as per statement placed on the table of the House. Honorable Speaker, sir, as per the statement placed in the floor of the House, on 20th December 2021, the Union Government had sent a letter to all state governments seeking their opinions on the proposed amendment of the IAS CADA rules 1954. The amendments which have been proposed by a union government seeks to change the rules for central deputation of IAS officers from different states. May I know the stand of the government of Meghalaya on this matter, sir? Sir, uh, in both, uh, sorry, in the letter that was sent, sir, we have clearly stated that we do not agree on the proposed amendment. Sir, I did not hear the Reply. So we, our reply was that we do not agree with the proposed amendments to the uh, rules that have been mentioned by the government of India. So I'm happy to hear that the government of Meghalaya has done the needful. Uh, did you send any letter before the 25th of January 22 to the government of India, Honorable CM, sir? Yes, sir. Two letters were sent, one on the 6th of January and one on the 24th of January. See me, I know, uh, know from the Honourable uh, Chief Minister of the gist of the proposed amendment, which the government of India have been sent to the state government, sir. The gist of the proposed amendment. Sir, uh, uh, of course, it's a bit of a detailed uh, uh, concept, uh, but I'll try to make it as uh, simple as possible. So basically, the uh, amendment was regarding the, uh, the central deputation. And uh, in the earlier cases, uh, the uh, central deputation was, of course, uh, done with the uh, agreement uh, or kind of a discussion between the two governments, I mean, the state government and the central government. Uh, but uh, the amendment was uh, in two phases, where uh, first they wanted a timeline to be put in where if the state government does not apply, uh, that, that in the case of any disagreement, the matter shall be decided by the central government and the state government concerned shall give effect to a decision of the central government within a specified time. So earlier there was no specified time. They wanted to, number one, increase, uh, put in, insert the concept of, or this uh, amendment of a specified time. Second, sir, they wanted to also insert uh, in a second phase where they had uh, put in further amendments, there they wanted to add uh, the aspect, the line that, uh, that further that uh, whenever the state government concerned does not give effect to the decision of the central government within a specific time, the officer shall stand relieved from the cadre from the date as may be specified by the central government. So that would be a deemed 
as relieved, so if in case the central state government did not give its consent. That's the gist. So it's about cent, uh, yes, deputation yes. to central government. So Yes, Professor. Yeah, I know from Honorable uh, Chief Minister, <coughs> whether the state is having a sufficient ICE officer in the state, sir? So in a plain, simple answer, the answer would be no. We do not have sufficient officers. Sir, may I know from Honorable Chief Minister, at present, how many uh, I guess, uh, obviously, we have in the state, sir. So the uh, total cadre strength is 77. And uh, as of now, sir, the direct recruits, we have uh, 23 and uh, promoted 18. So as of now, the total officers in the state is 41. Honorable Speaker, sir, may I know from the Honorable Chief, uh, Chief Minister, uh, how many such cadres are now on central deputation and how is it affecting the state? So currently there are five officers on central deputation and uh, of course sir we the uh, situation is such where uh, we do need to send uh, officers on central deputation that's how the entire system works uh, and uh, this is where the government of india and the state government are trying to ensure that uh, these rules don't affect the state government where they can take away the officials uh, even though the state government does not give uh, the permission. So therefore, sir, the uh, issue here is that, of course, our works are being affected. As mentioned, sir, we have almost uh, a strength of 77, uh, but as of now, uh, the total number of officers in the state is 41. So we have a huge deficit. Sir, so, may I know from Honorable uh, Chief Minister, after he was uh, after he was taking over as a Chief Minister, how many uh, MCS officer have been promoted I mean, as an uh, IS officer, sir? Sir, I don't have the numbers of how many were promoted after we took over, but uh, as of now, sir, 18 officers have been promoted total. So total IS of, in the IS uh, cadre, there are 18 officers who are promoted. I would not have the exact number of which year they were, but total is 18, sir, as of now. Last question, sir. Yes. Sir, may I know from Honorable Chief Minister, because we're having uh, 12 districts in our state. Whether the, whether the post of uh, Deputy Commissioner has been holding by IS officers, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, the post of the, direct, of the IS officers, um, I mean, sorry, of the Deputy Commissioners uh, is, uh, uh, is a cadre post. And uh, therefore, uh, yes, sir, all the Deputy Commissioners. The, there could be times when uh, the situations are there on a temporary basis while the, some transfers are taking place, uh, somebody could be holding just charge. But, yes, sir, all Deputy Commissioner posts are cadre posts. Um, Mr. Speaker, sir. Yes, sir. I, I just want to know, the deficit for 77 is at 45. Why has this deficit happened and why is it occurring? Because we are seeing that uh, many flagship programs, not only of the state, but also of the central government, are suffering because of this deficit appointment of officers. May I inquire from the Honourable Chief Minister, when will this deficiency of IAS officers be filled and what is the plan, plan of the government to get there? Uh, this is a, a matter which has been a, a problem for the state for a, for a very long time. And uh, because of the shortage of the officers that we have, uh, in fact, so just to give an uh, you know, uh, idea to our Honourable Members, that. Uh, as a state, uh, compared to many other states in the, in the region, sir, our uh, cadre strength is uh, very much lesser. For example, sir, the total strength of IS cadre in uh, Manipur is 110, in uh, Tripura is 102, in Nagaland is 91, whereas in Meghalaya it's 77. So we already have a deficit in terms of the cadre strength itself. And in the middle of all of that, uh, we have shortage of IS officers also earlier, where we did not get uh, IS officers uh, joining us. Uh, so therefore, uh, it's not that uh, uh, it just happens like uh, you know in a in a year's time or day's time. It's it's a continuous uh, process in the past um, for many reasons that this has happened. Uh, so as of now, so that's the reason why we did not agree to this particular amendment because we are already short. And if tomorrow government of India brings in an amendment saying that they can. Uh, you know, take away uh, IS officer on central deputation, and if we do not reply in a specific period of time, then it's deemed that the person is released from the cadre. So that's the reason why we are not agreeing to this. 
but uh, while we discuss that, sir, the reasons are many, sir. I, I, it's difficult for me to really give out all of it. But, uh, sir, many factors, like in the past, as I said, we did not get the officers that we were supposed to get uh, in terms of the, the joint cadre that was there. So all these issues are there, sir, and um, in the past, many did not come into Meghalaya State. So we had faced a shortage from day one, sir, and it still continues even today. Uh, and is it affecting our work? So yeah, it is affecting our work. But uh, you know, we have tried our best in the last few years to ensure that uh, as many of the officers who were outside, as soon as they finished their period, we're trying to bring them back. We're also trying to ensure that minimum officers uh, go back on deputation to, uh, to a different state and, or a different uh, um, uh, to, to central government. Uh, so therefore, sir, the efforts are on. But yes, sir, it's, it's a big challenge. But the crux of the matter is, coming back to the question, that uh, because of all these problems we faced, we did not agree to this uh, particular amendment in the, uh, in the rules, sir. Sir, may I uh, inquire from the Honorable Chief Minister, sir, whether the state of Meghalaya will now propose its own cadre for IS officers, because this joint cadre seems to be affecting us, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, in the year 2019, on the 26th of February, 22nd of February, I had written a letter to the Honorable Prime Minister uh, urging him to consider a separate cadre for Meghalaya. This is in 2019. And uh, after the, uh, the Northeastern Areas Reorganization Amendment Act of 2012 divided the Manipur Tripura cadre, so we have been really pushing for this from then, and uh, we are still pursuing this matter. And this is something that, uh, as you said correctly, that uh, it is something that's important. If this happens, then we would see that uh, we'd be able to get more cadre strength than we have right now. So may I know from the Honorable Chief Minister, since there's such a shortage of IS officers, and if there is a provision in the rules that allows the officers from different departments be promoted to the Meghalaya Civil Service cadre or the IS cadre? You mean Meghalaya Service? Now the officers in the government who are not from the civil services, whether it's Meghalaya or Meghalaya Civil Service or Indian Administrative Service. So does rules permit the government to uh, promote them or nominate them as officers in the Meghalaya Civil Service or the Indian Administrative Service? Does the rules allow? So the, uh, the promotion, of course, is based on, uh, uh, you know, the basic uh, MCS officers, so there are rules are very clear and it happens every time the vacancy arises. Uh, but uh, uh, as of now, sir, the, there is no, um, uh, nothing to stop us from using their services uh, in other departments. So even today as we speak, uh, there are uh, officers from uh, different services, uh, whether state or um, the uh, central government, uh, are heading or are working in separate uh, departments and uh, serving the state. And that's also to a large extent we're able to also make up for the gaps that are there. So, uh, to answer the question, sir, there's no specific rule on allowing from other cadres or other uh, things to come into the IAS, but using them in the department uh, is something that uh, we are allowed to do, and therefore we are using the services of a large number of officers from um, IPS or from Forest Service or from the other department, or the other cadres of the state also in uh, other administrative work in other departments and even secretary. So, I'm referring to officers who are not from the cadre service. Like suppose an additional director has been promoted, he or she has been promoted by the government to the post of additional director. But he or she cannot occupy the post of director because that post has been reserved for MCS or IS officers, cadre only. In this case, will the government propose to nominate or promote that officer to the cadre of MCS so he or she can occupy the post of director whereby then your shortages of officers may be reduced. Sir, I'll need notice on the exact, uh, this is a very complicated uh, <laughs> point. I don't want to mislead the House by giving a reply that may not be correct. But uh, I have noted the suggestion, sir. So it's, it's a very technical question, um, but it's a good suggestion, sir. And I've noted on the suggestion, so I will examine the matter. Sir, just to uh, bring to the notice of the House and through you to the Honorable Chief Minister, I think there was a precedence in the past where a soil conservation officer who was heading the department eventually became the DC of Nongstein. So whether it was from the MCS or, or from the soil conservation department, that I'm not too clear, but perhaps the government can examine that 
and if there is a precedence, then we can follow that. Then perhaps you can promote our officers who have performed their duties to the best of their ability to head the departments, although they are not from any country. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, in fact, there has been a precedent in the past that has happened, and uh, uh, but uh, the important part is it cannot uh, cross the. Uh, the, the, the post to be filled by promotion, there are rules uh, that are there for promotion and recruitment where there is a specific number of 23. So it has to be within that 23. But yes, uh, the Honorable Member is absolutely right that it did happen in the past once. Yes, Ma Salim. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, sir, it's very sad to see, even after 50 years of celebrations there, we are having a very less number of IS cadre within the state. And I love to thank the government, uh, at least they have proposed already to produce the stat cadre. Whether the government is contemplating any strategy in the future to give a better facilities, those IS inspirants uh, within the state, any kind of a strategy of planning, because right now we don't have a good coaching institutions within the state. Whatever we are having right now, it's, uh, you know, uh, just any Tom, Dick and Harry and then coming and then trying to entertain. Whether a, a, from the a government side, any proposal or strategy is being contemplated, contemplated or uh, any kind of a, uh, plan is there. Because till that we have only one Garo IS officer. Though we are asking for the ILP, ILP every now and then. We are still under the, you know, non-tribal... Uh, people who are ruling the state, like DC is non-tribal, SP is non-tribal, everyone. So, I would like to urge the government at least uh, try to produce our own people by giving a, uh, you know, uh, strategizing in a, in a way that our people will be IS cadre tomorrow. So, any strategy, sir? Yes, sir. The point mentioned by the honourable member uh, is absolutely right, and that's why, sir, the government of Meghalaya in uh, 2019 we had started one coaching uh, under the ALS uh, Institute. I don't have the full form right now, but there was a coaching institute where we had this uh, satellite-based online. Uh, I mean, the center was uh, in one location, but then uh, the people who were teaching it uh, for, from outside. Uh, and uh, we had started that, sir, and it continued for uh, two years, and we are definitely working on extending that in the future also. At the same time, sir, Marty also is conducting civil service coaching. So there is a continuous effort that is on. Uh, but yes, the Honourable Member is correct that uh, we need to push this even more so that more of our young boys and girls from the state of Meghalaya can come into the civil service.